Hi, this is Shade Frey with TaxSaleSupport.com. I'm here with Steven Swenson, and this is one of our Property Deal of the Week videos. Yeah, and today's video is a little bit different. Today we're going to be talking about uh, GSAauctions.com. And what they actually are is that's part of the General Service Administration, and it's a division of the federal government. Yeah, so basically what we're talking about is um, they are used to sell government-owned items. And so uh, a lot of times we end up on GSA auctions because they're selling different types of real estate, but they also sell more than that. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to talk a little bit about their website and what they offer today. Yeah, before we do that, though, uh, we noticed that uh, only about 15% of you guys are actually uh, subscribed to the channel, so we want to encourage you to get subscribed so that anytime we put out new videos with uh, these new Deal of the Week videos, uh, you'll be notified. Yeah, I'd love to have you as part of the team. So when it comes to the auction website, they offer all kinds of info, you know, all kinds of items from boats to planes to uh, industrial yeah, equipment. lots of heavy equipment. Yeah, anything that the government uh, may sell, they, they can offer it through this uh, through this website, which can also include some types of real estate. So as we are always looking for any type of government auctions, we you know check these websites regularly, look at some of the real estate that's coming up, and include some of that information on our websites if it's, if it's important. Yeah, and one of the things that we found that we thought was kind of interesting was uh, many lighthouses that the government is selling suddenly uh, that are uh, in locations, uh, various locations, but lighthouses that were built a long time ago and in many cases uh, were in service for uh, for over 100 years. Yeah, so in this case we went went ahead and went to the category of real estate and looked at some of the, the, the real estate that they were offering, which like Shade said, included some lighthouses. So, you know... Uh, kind of one of my first questions was, is why is the government selling lighthouses? So we went and looked up some of that information, and and part of that has to do with a law that was passed in 2000 that really kind of uh, made it, uh, you know, uh, made it important to preserve these type of, of lighthouses. Yeah, but at the same time, though, uh, you know, advancements in technology have changed, you know, the need for uh, for things like lighthouses uh, compared to, you know, the way it was. Uh, you know, in the past. So basically what they decided was they determined it was excess to the needs of the Coast Guard, that it wasn't needed. Yeah, exactly. So the first thing the government does is they offer them to, uh, to nonprofits like educational agencies, uh, developments, edu you know, park, recreational, uh, historic preservation uh, societies, things like that. And if they don't draw any interest, then what they'll go ahead and do is they'll sell them on the GSA website and offer them up to the general public. Yeah, and that's basically what has happened here. Is we have, uh, you know, we've got a, a number of different lighthouses that uh, that are available for sale. So this first one is the uh, the Carries Fort Reef Lighthouse. Yeah, and, and Carries Fort Reef is is actually located around six miles east of Key Largo, Florida. It's a pretty a pretty cool looking lighthouse. It's 120 feet four feet uh, tall and has an oct. Uh, octagonal type uh, screw pile tower. Yeah, yeah, I think it's they're pretty neat looking towers, and they, they have living quarters included with them as well. You know, so uh, they have a keeper's quarters. You know, that are there, uh, and you know, are basically out there in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. Now this is actually really old. Congress gave the funds to build this lighthouse in the 1840s, and it was manufactured in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in 1848. And then completed in 1852. Yeah, so it was actually the oldest functioning lighthouse of its type in the United States until it was decommissioned in uh, 2015. So it was decommissioned about uh, you know uh, seven eight years ago. Yeah, well, you know another interesting point about this lighthouse is that uh, George Bead uh, ended up uh, going and supervising this particular lighthouse, to help, help build it, and he ended up uh, being a commander of the Army of the Potomac. And, uh, and and was a part of the victor at Gettysburg. It's kind of interesting. History involved with it, I guess you could say. Yeah, so here we can see some of the details of the property. They're starting out, the lighthouse is starting out uh, with a $15,000 bid, uh, and it has 50 days remaining in the auction right now. So, uh, you know, there's no, you know, they don't, I, this doesn't have an opening bid yet. Yeah, it ends on, on uh, April uh, 22nd. Now, with this particular lighthouse, the the structure is what's going to be conveyed, not the underlying submerged land. So they're not going to be selling you the land underneath. What they're essentially selling you is the structure, but the structure is going to stay in place. You know, what they're looking for is really people to come in, 
buy these and preserve these. But in just thinking about it, there's so many different opportunities in something like that, uh, you know, to to refurbish it into all kinds of things. Yeah, well, it, it, it's hard to build something like that in the first place. And so it's, it, you know, you want to take advantage of it, of it, the fact that it's there already. Yeah, I think I think it's pretty neat. That's part of the reason we wanted to show you. Here's kind of where it's at. You can see it's about six miles, uh, you know, out in the ocean from from Key Largo, uh, down there in kind of the uh, the Florida Keys area. Yeah, yeah. It also came with a lot of interesting information, um, you know, about the lighthouse, uh, along with kind of a uh, some hand drawn notes here that describe how it's constructed. Yeah, in fact, uh, you know, they're going to have a packet that goes through all of the details what needs to be fixed and they're actually looking for people that have some capital so even though it only starts at 15 grand they want people to have you know and kind of going over them it can be over a million dollars to kind of refurbish these so that they're going to last for another hundred years yeah yeah like we said there's more than one uh, that is uh, that's available uh, but here are a couple of the, uh, the images here from the uh, uh, from this first yeah Kind of a lot of cool photos. Here's photos from the inside. You can see that corkscrew uh, staircase that goes up. Um, you know, pretty cool. Needs a lot of work, but it's also structurally sound. Yeah. You know, they talk about that in just kind of going through and, and reviewing, reviewing part of the part of the notes. But you can see how it needs to be fixed. Uh, you know, needs to be updated. But these were being used until 2015. Yeah. So, you know, they, they are at least uh, pretty neat and really kind of a part of history. Yeah. Yeah, well, and the condition is not too bad considering that they were built, you know, in the 1800s. Yeah, it's been sitting out there in the ocean. You know, I just was thinking about how many hurricanes and, I mean, it's, you know, withstand a lot. Yeah, yeah. And, and there's a the top part here with the lighthouse itself yeah, and the glass. And, and part of, part of what the photos will show you is actually things that need to be fixed. So here within the glass, we can see that those particular three uh, glass panes are, are cracked. Yeah. Oh, interesting though. And it would be a pretty interesting uh, project to take on. Yeah. So again, uh, the details on this particular auction it ends on April twenty second. It's going to be an online auction. Opening bid starts at fifteen thousand uh, through GSA Auctions. Yeah. Yeah, these are going to be uh, interesting properties. You'll have to check back in and see what they end up selling for. Yeah. So if you're interested in, in what we have to offer, go ahead and download our free ebook, Secrets of Tax Lien Investing. You can go ahead and click the link in the description, and that'll give you free access. Plus, uh, you can join us on our on our Thursday night webinar. In fact, we're doing uh, one next week for that. Yeah, yeah, we'd love to have you join us for the free webinars that we conduct. We do those about every. Um, uh, every month to two months or so, we'll do a free webinar. Um, and so we'd love to have you join us for that. You can also join us uh, with the TaxSaleSupport.com membership program, which is only $39 a month if you want to do month to month uh, and uh, provides both training and tax sell lists. Yeah, exactly. It's going to give you access to everything we have, uh, including our weekly webinars. And pardon my being sick. I've been very difficult to understand here. So thanks so much for staying to the end. Yeah, appreciate it.